One of my very favorite things to do is go kayaking. And that's what we're doing this morning. It's about a two hour drive to the lake and about 4.30 in the morning. I've got my coffee, a bunch of gear in the car, and I'm hoping to get out to the lake right around sunrise. So let's head out and talk about peace. Hi guys, I made it over to the family cabin on the lake. So I'm gonna head over to the lakeside and we'll go check out the kayak. So this is where we store the kayak when it's not being used. And we have it upside down just in case it rains so that it doesn't get a bunch of rainwater in it. And then this is the paddle. And if you can see, the ends aren't totally straight with each other. This ends up and down, and this ends over. And when you're paddling, it helps a lot. <laughs> oh, and right over here, this is really important. <laughs> this is my life jacket. <laughs> I definitely want this just in case anything happens. If there's any waves that I don't see coming or I accidentally get tipped over for any reason, this is gonna help save me. All right, let's get the kayak in the water. <laughs> Oh, what a beautiful morning. I'm so excited to get out on the water. Look at this. What a beautiful, peaceful morning. I love this. <laughs> and God gives us this peace in our hearts and our minds 
so that we can live in a place of peace like this always on the inside. Some people can be surrounded by peace on the outside like a morning like this and still experience a storm in their minds and their hearts because they don't know God and they might be full of worry and stress or anger but God gives us peace like this on the inside in our minds and in our hearts even if there's a storm on the outside all around us. There's a story in the Bible where Jesus and his disciples were crossing the lake and a storm came up. The disciples were so worried that they thought that they were going to die. But Jesus had so much peace that he was sleeping. <laughs> Let's check it out now. The Bible story about Jesus calming the storm can be found in Matthew 8. And we're going to start in verse 23. And the pictures were drawn by my daughter, Tilly. Okay, and it says... Then Jesus got into the boat and started across the lake with his disciples. I wonder how far they were across the lake. Suddenly, a fierce storm struck the lake with waves breaking into the boat. Wow, can you imagine that? I wonder how big those waves were. I wonder how fierce the storm was. Do you think that there was really fast wind? And it was just like messing up everyone's hair like crazy. <laughs> or do you think that the waves were just filling the boat with water just pouring over? Do you think the disciples and Jesus were getting drenched? Like were they soaking wet because of all the rain? Oh, I don't know. I've been in some pretty rough storms and it can be a little scary. But Jesus was sleeping. What? Jesus was sleeping during all that? Oh my goodness. So can you imagine a fierce storm with big winds and everyone's hair is just going crazy all over the place. <laughs> and then there were waves crashing into the boat and everything was getting wet and Jesus was sleeping. Wow. He must have had a lot of peace inside of him. Because I can't sleep during storms. <laughs> the disciples went and woke him up, shouting, Lord, save us! We're gonna drown! Oh my goodness. I wonder what the disciples were thinking. Like, Jesus, how are you sleeping? We're gonna drown and die! Ah! <laughs> I wonder which disciples woke him up. Which ones do you think? Oh no, I bet you they were shaking him because there was a pure storm and he was still sleeping. So they were probably really shaking him hard to try and get him awake. And then Jesus responded, why are you afraid? You have so little faith. I love that Jesus is so confident that he just knows who God is and who he is. And he's not afraid at all. In fact, he even asked the disciples, yeah, there's like a crazy storm that's wild and the winds are howling and the waves are crashing over the boat and it seems like we would die, but you have me. You have God. Why are you even afraid? I love that. <laughs> so Jesus goes, why are you afraid? You have so little faith or trust in God or trust in him, in Jesus. Then he got up and rebuked the wind and the waves. So he got up and he said no to the wind and the waves. And then there was great calm. Wow, can you imagine a crazy storm? And said in another part of the Bible that they went out in the evening and it was just going like crazy. And then there's complete calm. Oh, and because there's the evening, I imagine that it was either like the sunset or even the stars out and just peace. Have you ever seen lakes when there's no wind and it's just still? You can see all the reflections and sometimes you can see the moon in the water. That's what I imagine it was probably like. And it says that the disciples were amazed. Who is this man? They asked. Even the winds and the waves obey him. 
Wow, they were still discovering that Jesus was the Son of God and God. And they were just amazed at him. Oh, you guys, that's how much peace Jesus has. He'll be in the middle of a storm and he'll just ask, why are you worried? Why are you afraid? Don't you trust me? You have so little faith. I'm going to take care of you. <laughs> I love how much peace Jesus has. And we can always go to him during our storms in life. Whenever we feel worried or stressful or angry or hurt in our hearts, we can go to him and he will bring us peace. You guys, God wants us to experience peace like Jesus experienced in the storm. <laughs> and isn't that awesome? Like he was sleeping through a storm and the disciples were so scared that they were gonna die. And we can have peace like that because of God, because we can trust Jesus and trust God. Let's imagine that I was out in the middle of a big lake and I had my life jacket on. I could just sit there and enjoy and have total peace while someone comes to rescue me. <laughs> I would just enjoy the beauty and I don't know, maybe do some backstrokes, float around for a bit, <laughs> sing some worship songs, <laughs> just hang out with God. <laughs> I could totally enjoy that time and have peace because I know that my life jacket was saving me. But if I didn't have my life jacket, then I'd have to work really, really, really hard. And if no one came fast enough, I would die. And that's kind of like everyone's life. When we know Jesus and we trust him to be the one who saves us, then we can just enjoy God and know that we're gonna experience his love and his goodness for forever. We know that when we die, we're gonna go be with him in heaven and new earth, and it's gonna be so good. And so we can rest in him, just like I would be resting in my life jacket. But if I didn't know Jesus, then I would be working really, really, really hard to do it on my own. And it wouldn't be enough. If no one came right away, I would die. I would perish. Because I cannot do it in my own strength. I can't swim for forever. My body is just not strong enough. Eventually, it's either gonna wear out or I'm gonna need to sleep or something. <laughs> and so that's like trusting in Jesus as our savior. Like me trusting in this life jacket. We rest in his salvation. We just go, Jesus, thank you for doing all the work for us. You took care of all of my sin on the cross and I get to be with you for forever instead of struggling to do it on my own and treading water and running out of steam and eventually dying. People who say no to Jesus don't get to experience eternal life with him. And all love and all goodness is in Jesus, in God. And so if we say no to God, we're saying no to all goodness and all love and all life. And that is no way to spend eternity without any love or without any goodness. And so it's so important that we trust Jesus as our savior, as the one who saves us. Just like I would trust this life jacket to save me if I tipped over or my kayak went over or anything like that. <laughs> oh, I'm experiencing some waves here. Oh. 
we're already halfway around the lake wow i think we should go all the way around what do you think here i'll show you what it looks like I am loving this, it's so beautiful. Wow. Another way that we can have peace and trust in God is knowing that he's gonna take care of us. And in one of the most famous Bible passages, King David wrote, the Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. And a shepherd is one who takes care of sheep. And David was giving us a picture of us being sheep and God being the shepherd that gives us everything that we need. It also says that he makes us lie down in green pastures. If you think of these beautiful green meadows full of food for sheep, <laughs> that's what that would look like. <laughs> he lays me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. In Psalm 23, it goes on to say, that even though he walks through the valley of the shadow of death, he won't be afraid. Oh my goodness, he's talking about being surrounded by scary things, even things that could lead to death. But he's saying that he won't be afraid because he knows that God is the one that's gonna take care of him. And at the end of the passage, it says that God's goodness and love will pursue us every day for the rest of our lives. Isn't that amazing? So we can have peace knowing Jesus as our shepherd, as the one who will give us everything that we need. We don't need to be in fear. We don't need to be greedy because he gives us all that we need. We can go to him for anything. He's our shepherd. He's gonna be the one who takes care of us forever and always. Oh. Thank you, God, for your peace. Hi, everybody. So we're going to do a boat challenge. <laughs> so we're each going to make a boat, and then we're going to see who's last the longest through the storm. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. <laughs> so we have all this stuff. Um, no one has a plan yet, and we're gonna let the girls go first, and you two are gonna build your boats. Girl power. Girl power. Okay, Jackson, we're gonna come back afterwards to make ours, okay? Thanks. Awesome. Okay, let's go let the girls make theirs. Tilly, huh? you ready to build a boat? Yeah. Yeah. What are you gonna build? Um, I think I'm going to do it out of that. With some styrofoam? Uh huh. Okay. You uh, tell me yeah. how big you want it. I want it here. Oh, you want a big one. A big boat. Okay. That's why I wanted all of it. I think that's a little big. How about like right here? Do, do, do. 
I like them. Tilly? That was awesome. You guys, before we even started this project, we wanted to make boats. And the first time we did it, we had technical difficulties. But now we each have two boats. I can't wait to see what Chris and Jackson make. What do you think, Tilly? You're going to be awesome! Awesome. Which boat is your favorite? Mm, I think I kind of like this. I think this one is my favorite. I love your mm. captain so much. I think I like this captain a little more on a boat. Oh my goodness. This was so much fun. Thank you yeah, for doing boats with yeah. me. Should we see how the boys do? Yeah. All right. Bye, guys. Jackson, look at what the girls did. <laughs> wow. These look incredible. Okay, Jackson, what kind of boat would you like to make? Hmm. Well, I want the dinosaur person, but how about we make a dinosaur boat? A dinosaur boat. I love it. Yes. Awesome. So I think there's a normal boat and then a dinosaur head sticking out. Oh, a dinosaur head sticking out of the boat. I love it. Okay. Let's see, we have these sponges. to put some on the back because it's it's weighing pretty heavy on the front <laughs> okay do you want to okay i will paint hot glue on the eyes and you tell me where to fit them okay One. whoa whoa eye down okay jackson where's this eye go right here Yeah, okay. Woo! Woo! Always how can the parents help with the hot glue gun because it is hot! Okay, where's the other eye? Right there. Ah! He's looking so good! Should we put on more feathers? but it's awesome. <laughs> Think you'll win the boat challenge? Yeah! Yeah! All right, Jackson, let's go try them out. Yeah! Hi guys. Okay, this is the boat challenge. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna take the boats that we made, <laughs> and we're gonna put them through a little storm and see who's last the longest. Yeah. <laughs> okay, are you guys ready? Ready. Yeah. All right. Okay, hey guys, we need them in at the same time. <laughs> oh, do you guys want to? Do you guys want to introduce your boats? Yeah. Hi. Right, okay, go ahead, Tilly. What's your boat's name? Um, I don't have a name. You don't have a name. <laughs> Jeremiah, does your boat have a name? 
Bob? Bob. Bob? Bob. Okay. Jeremiah, do you want to put this one in? Yeah. Okay. And four. Okay, you guys, let's get ready to put our boats in a storm. Yeah. Okay, can you still be right there? Oh, no. Uh, Mine fell oh, over. Oh, dino bird. It wait, fell wait, over. Wait, do oh, no. No, no. <laughs> there are we. <laughs> we didn't even make a storm. Oh, no. How do we know which one? You guys. They're all oh, falling no. apart. A big storm without Jesus. <laughs> oh, yours is going, Tilly. Look, yours is great. Oh, wait, here, here, I'll pop it out. Now, storm challenge. Now, storm. <laughs> These boats need Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jackson, yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> Are you gonna pay him up? Are you gonna pay him up? Wait, wait, that's your boat, that's our pay! <laughs> Are you gonna pay Bob in, Jeremiah? Okay, put him in! Oh, oh let Jeremiah do it! Put okay, him in, put Jeremiah. him in, Jeremiah! Push him in! You guys, wasn't that a blast? <laughs> I so enjoyed the boat challenge. Making one and trying it out, even if it didn't last long. And I'm in a little bit of a storm right here, just like those boats. And we all experience storms in life. Whether we have a friend that we love that moves away, or we move away to a place where we don't know anyone, Maybe our parents can lose a job and we get a little bit worried about that. Or maybe our parents get a divorce. Or maybe someone that we know and love dies. Oh, there's so many things in life that can happen that can leave us worried or hurting and in pain. But Jesus brings peace to all those areas. Without God, it just can feel like a storm in our hearts. But we can go to God and pray to Him and read the Bible for promises that He's given to us or about truth that He's always with us and that He loves us. Or we can worship Him or even just rest in His presence. And He'll bring peace to the storms in our mind and our heart. And just like none of our boats survived, <laughs> all of us die. But if we know Jesus, then we can have peace with him for eternity, forever and always. It's so important that when we experience the raging storms of life, that we go to God for our peace. Because he will fill our hearts and minds with peace. Sometimes it might take just a bit of time with him. And we might still be sad, but he'll meet us there and he'll comfort us. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit is our comforter and he wants to be with us in all the hard places and fill us with his peace. Thank you guys so much for doing the bow challenge with us. That was so much fun. And I can't wait to do our next challenge with you. Bye.
<laughs> oh, you guys, I'm so glad that I can have peace. Even when my iPhone drops in the lake. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you can't see it, but I have the iPhone stringed up by a bunch of cord, a bunch of string here, and it's tied all around my iPhone, and I'm really glad that it is, because it just went bloop, <laughs> right in the lake, <laughs> and, and my shirts got really, really wet, but it's beautiful, it's warm, um, I had a bunch of string around it so that I could just haul my iPhone right out. <laughs> Just like Jesus is our savior, uh, this string was saving my iPhone. Thank you, God. <laughs> yeah, I think that I'm going to keep kayaking around the lake. It's so beautiful and fun here. And we got everything out of the lake. Yay, thank you, God. <laughs> I actually thought that this was such a beautiful spot that it would work great to talk about the peace that we get from God being our father. Oh, if I think about the ultimate peace, I think about a baby in a parent's arms, just resting and enjoying and trusting its parent for every need. I mean, if a baby gets hungry, it just cries a little and the mommy or daddy are like, boom, right there with some milk or food. <laughs> the baby doesn't need to worry about anything. And God wants us to trust him like that, that he would supply every physical need and he would supply every need for our hearts and our mind. And as a baby grows, they can feed themselves as well, but they're still at home with their parents and all of their needs are taken care of. And God wants to meet all of our needs in the same way. And God wants to grow in friendship with us in the same way. And it's so good. <laughs> and so we can have total peace, trusting in God as our Father like a little one trusts in their parents, in their mommy or their daddy. I love that picture. And so we can trust Jesus as our savior, the one who saves us. Like I would trust in this life jacket if I tipped over. And we can trust that God is our shepherd. That he'll take care of our every single need and that he'll protect us just like shepherds protect their sheep from lions and bears. And we can trust God as our father and rest in his arms in that way. And just let our hearts just rest in him and soak in his smile and his delight in us. Oh, we just, we get to have the peace of knowing that our Father God delights in us. <laughs> yes, amen. I think that bird was saying yes. <laughs> Oh, you guys, it's so good. So even if there's storms around us and we even get to speak to the storms of life and say peace and make them still. Oh. Okay, let's pray. God, thank you so much for being my peace, for taking care of me in every way. Thank you for bringing peace to the storms of life and my situations. Amen. Oh, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me and talking about peace. I'm going to keep kayaking around the lake. Awesome trip around the lake. <laughs> okay. Oh, now for the trickiest part of the whole trip. Definitely one of my favorite things to do. Oh, thank you guys so much for hanging out, talking about peace, and uh, going on a kayak trip with me. <laughs> See you soon.